folks today i'm going to talk to you about another very very important topic this confuses lots and lots of hindus so please please listen carefully the reason why i'm talking this is there was a genuine commenter of one of my english videos he said you are a jeevan mukta could you please bless me i never i don't think say he, he could you please he said please bless me <laughs> so what is the definition of this jeevan mukta that he is referring to i don't know about it so i uh, googled and there was a youtube video and this was one of the questions to one of the very very famous uh, interpreter of uh, vedanta fa vedanta philosophy i have given a link to that video you can also watch so he says vedanta uh okay yeah, let me read it because uh, i this is exactly what i threw out in the dustbin before i i sat down when i was 31 years old and asked if there is any god that god should come and tell me what all about it i am not accept i am not ready to accept any of these words junk and so i have never learned those chunks so i'm just he since that gentleman very nice person um he asked said that i am a jeevan mukta uh, asked me to requested me to bless me i just want to find out what is jeevan mukta so i'm reading here so one of the viewers question is how does jeevan mukti applies to followers of uh other philosophies because the person who was giving the lecture is uh vedanta philosophy i think okay and there is a response from that famous uh, swami <laughs> is jeevan mukti is being enlightened and yet being in human body that is the definition of jeevan mukta the great great junk word is enlightened if you ask any of the swami ji's who are going and preaching in bmw cars these days they will say i am enlightened he consider he will consider himself to be enlightened many of the people will think they are they are enlightened so enlightened is a very vague vague term people can utilize it to say that i am enlightened if i see some god in front of me i am enlightened if i see some light in front of me i am enlightened if i hear some asriri some voice uh, when i'm when i was meditating i am enlightened um see if you are just thoughtless uh, or next stage of samadhi you are enlightened all this enlightened is it covers a lot of things there is exactly the reason why all these guy all these folks all these gentlemen when they asked what is your enlightenment everybody is saying differently one person for example uh, ramana maharishi will say i am atma and j krishnamurti will say i am uh, uh, the 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 a final energy has been attained the energy is me the world and the energy and me are one and the same something like that you used to say i i've i'm i have kind of reviewed all those things in one of the videos i'll give a, a link to that video in this uh, pinned comment you can go and watch them this is a problem loose words because they are at the mental level mind level at the end of enlightenment 
whatever that they learn at that level at the mind level they say this is my enlightenment and i am saying divine is beyond mind human mind even when you are alive here there is there is something behind you at a different frequency at a different dimension which you can never ever see through your third eye or whatever eye you can never see you can be that you can never see that that's why i'm suggesting this unconditional love when you are practicing in real life when you are living life of unconditional love you won't know it and that is the that is the enlightenment that is the true enlightenment i won't use the word enlightenment that is you are that energy golden energy one of the three divine jyotis anyway okay let's continue with this uh, question so jivan mukti is being enlightened and yet being in human body and then um what is enlightened means according to that uh, swami ji <laughs> swami enlightened means brahm attaining the state of brahman um absolute what is brahman absolute one of the gods brahman one of the gods but they also sometimes say brahma absolute what is the definition of absolute can you can you tell me what is absolute are you the absolute nobody can say that it's all words okay so he says vedanta philosophies do not accept jivan mukti it only accepts videga mukti that means you will be enlightened after you leave this body but when you are in this body you are you, you, even when you are so called enlightened you are not accepted as uh, jivan mukta so the vedanta philosophy does not accept and there was another gentleman there in that uh, meeting and uh, he belongs to vishishtatvaita ramanuja acharyas <laughs> philosophy and with vishishtadvaita and uh, he said we say we interpret jivan mukti in a different way different interpretation so they accept something called moksha it seems they don't accept, don't accept jivan mukti then advaita philosophy sangracharya's philosophy accepts jivan mukti sankhya philosophy accepts jivan mukti okay so i got i was wondering what are the various veda vedi uh, what are the various what are the various branches there is advaita vedanta vishishta advaita dvaita suddha vidya uh, suddha vidya order veda veda then advaita then i was wondering the what they are all about their different interpretations of vedas human interpretation of vedas <laughs> theories that you learn just like you learn physics and chemistry about gods you are learning for like, like physics and chemistry all these guys going and teaching advaita vishishtadvaita um i vedanta and so on so then i i was wondering i googled and i found found out i asked what are vedas veda they are hymns poems prayers and uh, religious instructions given by whom brahma brahma himself came okay they are one of their gods okay vedas are considered to be words of brahma so rigveda rigveda is about gods gods note that gods 
just not one god various gods yajurveda they are the the the, the rituals to be followed by priests samaveda songs uh, that priests sings uh adarva veda magic spells and rituals these are all the vedas and veda all those branches of uh, uh, vishishta advaita advaita they are all different people ramanuja acharya uh, adi shankara acharya and so other people they interpreted these vedas so conclusion is these are all theories of course they will say we are reliving practically anybody anybody any preacher of advaita ask them are you the brahman are you the brahman have you realized they will say no if anybody says yes ask them to um, please give me ask them to contact me nobody they are all preachers they are preaching they think that they, if they preach one of the upanishads for example upanishads is part of vedanta it's not part of veda vedas vedanta is lots of people the moment they give they go and give lectures of vedanta i am upanishad upanishad they think their mind things their mind things the one in their mind the i in their mind things they are in a godly way they are doing some seva to their gods they feel good about themselves they are very religious that's what they think all these that's why i'm saying all this religious ways are junk to be to be put inside the dustbin that's what exactly i did i'm repeating it again and again i threw away all these junk theories words brahman vedanta i didn't read all of them i i was reading only what vivekananda was talking about at that time when i was doing my mtech in iit bombay at that time i had some time i i i was reading that and ramakrishna paramahamsa of life and also rajya krishna murthy and uh, nothing else i read threw away all them in the test bin so to uh, to answer this question uh, to, to to respond to the request of that uh, nice gentleman i am not a jeevan mukta i am the undefined i am the eternal above all the creation before the creation i was i have clearly said what is creation i didn't hear from brahma or somebody and the 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 basis for that is my first experience of the one the rotating the one which rotated in the anti clockwise direction tremendously and took me to the next state instead of normally people come from the deep sleep to the dream state and i went to that the problem with all this thing is all these theories preaching theories hearing theories is there are so many divisions so many interpretations you can interpret in so many ways the only way you can be un- you can you can live the uh, unconditional love live the unconditional love is loving everybody unconditionally removing everything every ignorance or non beliefs and uh, all the junk theories like this throw away throwing away all those things 
the world will there's a energy around you will show you that anyway so you have to go beyond that so i want each and every one of you who is watching my video do not collect information of my videos information in my videos and think that you have understood me no absolute no till you live a life of unconditional love you are not one with that golden light and if you are in the golden light you will not know it because knowing is part of the human mind's process you will be that but you will be that golden light unconditional love energy of unconditional love but you will not know it the moment you know it try to know it you are in your mind level the mind the, the i in your mind is not the real i it is not the real i please note that so what are the things i want to talk about today i just note down some of the things i don't know where it is where it is it doesn't matter i can talk about them. i don't need notes to talk about uh what i came to talk about please note okay some of my some of the people who are um uh communicating or in, interacting with me through whatsapp they say that i was i was in a state there was no thought i had talked about that in the previous video i think one of the earlier videos again i'm repeating it because this is relevant to this video typically what everybody including bhagwan rahman avana maharishi i tell you the last person last gang last group of people who will understand me are the brahmanas who are hanging on to their vedas vedan vedanta upanishads they are not to be repeated they have to be lived before you talk to me about any of your upanishad live that and come and talk to me other till then you are just a theoretician you are just reading just like you are go to go to school and read science and mathematics and physics chemistry etc and then you are repeating it vomiting it vomiting it the problem with the vomiting is <laughs> you are adding vom something more than what you are eating your vomit has more than what you have in you took inside what you read it is where is it coming from your mind human mind can never take this very very seriously clearly human mind can never ever reach the state of god help one of the three jodis the only jodi that you can very easily be is an unconditional love that's why i'm i'm teaching that it is not a theory okay please note that so one of the viewers asked me one of the interactors with my with my uh, you, uh, with me uh, in whatsapp asked me i understand all the things that you are talking about but when you when i live i have to i am like i am in the mind 
That's where I am. I am unable to go beyond it. I told him that's exactly what it is. You are in your mind. You are trying to learn what I am talking about as a knowledge gatherer. You are gathering the knowledge. Gathering knowledge and putting it in your mind is not living it. If you start living, you don't need me. As anybody said, any of these preachers said, there is a ray of white light which comes from the white light which is behind you. It is the I it gives you I it has the eye consciousness. But that eye consciousness is 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 not something you can ever ever read or gather and preach. I am able to see it because I went beyond the human mind from the at the very first experience. Okay, so <clears throat> and then I told I told him how to be in a state beyond human mind. Love everybody unconditionally. If there is a hindrance, it will show up as a form of uh, uh, some kind of sad event or a very happy event. You are still at the human mind level and then find out the reason why you experience that. If you keep saying that I am leading a miserable, a miserable life, but I am, I am, I am, I am in uh, uh, unconditional love state. Never. If there is any kind of hindrance, any kind of problems, then note that there is an ignorance, no, non-truth behind it. No, find out and you can remove it. I have, I have said how to live unconditional love in a practical way. In the previous, uh, in, uh, well, I think two videos before. That is to the, whether you need a, a free will to to live unconditional love life, something like that. I'll give a link to that also. You can go and watch it. And he also asked me, <clears throat> "You are saying that you and I are one and the same thing." But I am unable to experience it because you are at the mental level and you are looking at me at, at, the, at my mental level. All the information that I am providing about describing the God and so on, describe, not the God, describing the eternal unknown. So you think, your mind thinks that I am somebody big. It is the mind-to-mind -mind evaluation. Your mind evaluates the mind that you, it knows about me and it knows my mind through my words. And that way you can never be one with me. I said, I am beyond that. The three, that's the, the three divine jodhis. They are energy forms on a, upper, another dimension. Different frequency, different vibration. In the physical world, world shown by your mind and body can never see that, can never experience it. Experience it. It can experience its effect. I, I told very clearly in many, many of my videos that, for example, take the electric current 
is when it goes through a light bulb, through the filament in the light bulb, it gives out, gives out light. The light, the, the current energy is transformed into light energy. So the light energy is the effect of the things that you cannot see, that is a current. Of course, you can test using a meter, ampere meter, but you cannot see with your five, five senses and your body. But in any case, even when you to measure through your <laughs> your uh, uh, through your um, ampere meter, how much current goes? It is you are reading the effect of that current in your meter. It's only effect. The original current, or current, you cannot you cannot read it. So the eye consciousness, which is in the in the white ray of light, and it is in the newborn child, as is. And that is what it feels it is. That is why I am saying it is the new, the newborn child state is your real nature. In the same way that golden light also. It is love, unconditional love, without any opposition, without any, any of the negatives, negation of it. It is the energy form. Just like the white light in the in the ray of white light, which gives you eye consciousness, and this in this golden light gives you unconditional love as well as life in your body. But can you see the unconditional love? No, never, because. You, whatever you see, try to experience through your mind and body is the effect of that golden light energy form which is beyond your mind in a different dimension, at a different frequency level. You can be that, but you cannot see it, experience. You cannot, you cannot experience it. You can, you can be that. But you can never experience it using your any of your mind or body or if I'm sorry, any of your instruments. All those things are just effects. The mind, the eye in your mind is the effect of that light. Or uh, white light falling on the mind. But that's not it is real. It's the effect. It is surrounded by its nature is the mind, mental nature, it's a thought. The love, unconditional love, the effect of that unconditional love on your mind, on your body is conditioned love. The love that you show to your God, the love you show to your uh, your mother, father, they're all conditioned to love. Some of you may think, I'm sure that, okay, you are preaching this, <laughs> preaching, I'm communicating this unconditional love. Do you think that that can, at any, day, any time it can be realized in the world, that will, you are saying that it will, Next, you go will be full of uh, people with unconditional love. Is it possible? Right now, it seems very much impossible because everybody is selfish. Your you love on your country. You think that you are unselfish. You are not selfish because you are not only not for your body, your own self, you are for your country. Your country is yourself in your mind. That's your attachment. 
and everybody now is taking uh, trying to every politician prime minister prime, presidents everybody every politician preachers and everybody is trying to protect take care of their country their religion their 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 way of life they are protecting themselves their their, their ego and there is who who will take care of the whole humanity nobody and that is why all these junk people humanity will be demolished in the forthcoming decades and slowly so nothing will take place in a, in a minute it takes long time in human world if to if, to take the effect but it will happen so folks i am saying very clearly do not be a knowledge gatherer of what i am teaching practically live unconditional love and if you have any question ask me i will answer talk to you soon folks